Hey, how you doing guys? It is your boy, MLJO Mojo Shiesta, and I'm back at it with another video! Let's get down to the meats and beans. So if you've seen the title of this video, it is obviously going to be about the current life cycle of the PlayStation 4. How is it doing with, uh, well actually, I don't know. I'm not here to tell you how Sony's doing financially on all this shit, but I can tell you how the PlayStation gamers have been feeling a little bit. I can only speak for myself though, but I could also just tell you the facts and then you guys could defy, <clears throat> decide whether if it's good for the gamers or not uh, after it's said and done of this video. So, I've been hearing a lot lately about, you know, it's just 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 obviously the shit side of YouTube. Uh lots of lots of dogging on the PlayStation. Uh you know, like apparently it's uh you know having problems, it's having overheating issues with the pro, you know, we're having these all these fucking fake rumors coming out of nowhere, you know, like some fat ass pulling rumors out of his fucking out of his asshole on these rumors and links and shit, and then you know you go to it, and then you all you see is like Xbox whatever, blah blah blah, and you're like, okay, this is supposed to be legit. <laughs> so let me just tell you, um, you know, it's been PlayStation began flack on the on, on the HDR. So apparently, you know, these guys on the Xbox, uh, X, Xbox Xbox fans, boy, whatever the fuck you want to call them, I don't care because they're all fanboys at the end of the day. Um, let me talk about like you know. Uh, the HDR, you know, like how like the HDR is pointless. Um, yet at the same time, you get these asshats complaining that you know the PlayStation 4 games are getting uh, more support and blah 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 blah. But yet it's funny because they're twisting it towards uh, it's the pro. Um, so how come our Xbox One S can't get these supports? Which I totally understand what you're saying. But um, if you didn't know, actually, PlayStation 4 games vanilla are getting HDR support. So, you know, without having to buy a new console, I say PlayStation gamers are happy that they are getting uh, visual support uh, with the HDR settings and all that shit. Um, they're, they're, they're getting support with that without even having to pay for anything, which is nice because, um, correct me if I'm wrong, the Xbox One S is something you had to buy to get HDR because it wasn't on the original Xbox One. Am I correct? Am I wrong? You guys let me know in the comment section. But anyways, um, so... So the way I see it now, like, you see, so you got that, right? And then you got, um, how do you say, uh, 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 the no exclusives, which I, I for the love of God, uh, why is this still a, a thing being talked about? Um, last time I checked, uh, the exclusives have been the PSVR games. They have been the games that have been coming out in 2016 without having to wait for fucking fall season. Um, you know, the online has been pretty good. Yeah, it goes down here and there. But, you know, like, we're, like, I think it's just been hitting a rough patch, uh, recently. And it happens, uh, a lot less than more, if you, uh, if you say. So given the fact that, like, we're having to pay, uh, you know, money for, uh, PlayStation Network, and it's been working okay, yeah, I'd say so, in 2016. Um, I've actually seen more um, times the Xbox One has, or live or whatever you will, it's actually been down more times than the PlayStation 4. Not to say that like it's it's PlayStation uh, PSN's a better service by far, but in terms of uh, you know the network going down, you know you see the asshats always can talking about when this network goes down, but they don't talk about that, their network going down. So yeah, I'd say the, the, you know if, if if you're one of those guys who only hears the one-sided story, let me tell you something. It's been Every time I've turned on my PlayStation in 2016, I think one time I wasn't able to log online. So, uh, yeah. And I even had my Xbox One. I think I sold it uh, a little over the... Around, like, September, I want to say. Maybe August. Um, I've actually had more times... Uh, with, with me not being able to get online with the Xbox Live. And that was months ago. That's not even, like, you know, considering, like, the full fucking year up until now. So, yeah. Just... just, just have that thought in your head on uh, what PSN's doing. <laughs> um, so I see games um, getting HDR support. Uh, I see the VR doing well for itself. You know, obviously it's got a decent amount of games coming out. And, you know, last time I checked, VR is not a console itself. It is a, an appliance or, or attachment that you put to your PlayStation 4 that comes with games and has games for you to buy. So, uh, yeah, check that off the list. Uh, PlayStation has no games? Oh, I didn't know that. That's all I've been doing is playing games the entire time. You can check my library. Unlike some people, I don't fucking block my trophies, nor do I block my profile. So, yeah. Um, 
<laughs> what else can I get into? Uh, it's a, a misnotion about, you know, everything lately. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, supposedly, supposedly the PlayStation does uh, no 4K, uh, like, you know, the, uh, the, the PlayStation Pro doesn't do any 4K games at all, which you've been seeing multiple, you know, articles of giving you games that are, are not only high high graphically demanding games that are getting updates at higher resolutions which is bravo if you ask me for a 400 hundred dollar console um you're also seeing games like the last of us and um what was it uh, uh nba 2k 17 which is a new game from this gen last time i checked uh native 4k 60 frames per second while you know the last of us is at uh um you know just native 4k so you see you're getting your native 4k games and there'll be more games on the way and i'm sure you know as the developers get better with these consoles you'll probably see more and more improvements here here and there i'd say i don't know i'm not expecting nothing too crazy but, <laughs> so how is that doing i don't know that sounds good for for if you're a playstation fan again you know getting ready for that 400 hundred dollar console that seems to be doing well so how is the playstation's life cycle uh, in 2016, Mojo, uh, how has it been? Well, if you ask me, it's been fucking great. Like I said it was going to be in 2016. I said that for all gamers in 2016 was going to be the year where you have to move, you have to move forward. You know, like, 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 I was saying, you know, when the Pro comes out, and then you got PlayStation Slim, then you got PlayStation Vanilla getting a price drop. You know, those are reasons to switch to the next gen if you have a PS3, if you have a 360, for the love of fucking Christ, buy the Xbox One S. It is a great value for what it is. And regardless if Microsoft decides to take themselves serious with HDR or not, you know, it's still, it's still a great fucking uh, uh, deal considering, you know, you're getting, um, you know, a 4K Blu ray player and, you know, Good games like, you know, Gears of War 4 and Forza Horizon 3 taking advantage of HDR settings. So, you know, back back to, like, the PlayStation's life cycle, because this is what we're talking about here. Um, how has it been? I, I say it's it's been, a, I want to say, like, a B plus and a, a, a A minus maybe, you know. I mean, because I'm a little more harsh with my ratings, um, considering that, you know, this year in 2016 in total, like, it's... I see a lot of improvements, I want to say. And then, you know, Last Guardian's coming out in 2016. There's your fucking game. There's your game that you have been that you guys have been asking, where is the exclusive? There's a fucking game right there that's coming out. And then you got, you know, I don't know when the fuck GT comes out, but hey, you know, wait 20 days after 20, you know, 17 drops, and then you get fucking Gravity Rush 2, which, oh, another game that's going to be taking advantage of 4K native. Um on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Another game that's going to be native 4K. So if you got a 4K TV, Boombana, you're going to be seeing 4K on Gravity Rush 2. So, again, how has the PlayStation life cycle been? Oh, it's been fucking great so far. At least if I can go on and on and on and on about this year. Yeah, I'd say it's been great. I don't know what the fuck these asshats are talking about. I just watched a video earlier today about this dude fucking complaining about all these exclusives and then how they're getting left in the dust. Well, how are they getting less left in the dust if they're not studios owned by Sony and they're allowing them to put their games onto their console? And you can't even get into the whole thing with the whole advertising because guess what? Um... Every time you go down to the fucking PlayStation library, everything is getting advertised. If you are subscribed to their shit on YouTube, daily those videos are getting uh, 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 advertised. Now, do you have to turn on Madden? I mean, do you? Sorry, Madden. Do you have to watch the NFL? And and are you gonna be expecting fucking King of Fighters? No, I wouldn't say so. And and why the fuck should you? Because to be honest, I don't really take the King of Fighters fan to be. Very big on the NFL. Yeah, am I being stereotypical? Yes, but you know what? There's a reason why they're not fucking uh, advertising that shit on The Walking Dead or NFL or whatever mainstream popular popping shit is in the United States. You're not going to be seeing that shit. So, but are they advertising? Hell fucking yeah. If you got a goddamn PlayStation, you could see that, which is funny because these asshats do not have a PlayStation. So, what the fuck are they supposed to know, right? 
like so again, hey, how has the life cycle been in 2016? Mm-hmm. Fucking wonderful so far. Got all my fucking VR games. Got all my fucking AAA games. Well, got all my fucking games. indie games. I got all these fucking Hard games guys. coming out. And if you're just a gamer in general, fuck it if it's an exclusive or not. As long as you're able to buy the goddamn thing on your console, that's all that really matters. I don't really give a shit if, if the fucking Forza or Gears of War is going to be on PC. I don't give a fuck. And, you know... That's whatever. That, that's that's. I'm actually getting off topic here, but you know, I had to defend uh, the Xbox a little bit there for a second. I felt like you know, just to just to get my point across on how important games are on a console, and that's what comes first, not this other fanboy politic bullshit, where you know half these frauds just fucking block people and block their profiles and don't know what the hell they're fucking talking about half the time, anyways. Um, yeah. How is the PlayStation life cycle? Oh, it's been fucking great. All right, VR games. Triple A games, indie games, support, 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 4K support, more fucking games, um, more fucking consoles coming out, uh, other than the Slim. I don't see what's wrong. You pick your fucking poison when it comes down to the PlayStation. You want to play VR, you want to play in 4K, or do you just want to play fucking standard shit? And, you know, for, for, for a group of people that talk about a lack of games on the PlayStation so much, uh... If you, if you pay attention, and if you're not a fucking retard, newsflash, PlayStation 1 had a plethora of games. PlayStation 2 has a plethora of fucking games. PlayStation 3 had a plethora of fucking games. And let me tell you something, it is a fact that the PlayStation 4 has a plethora of fucking games. Whether you feel like they're advertised enough, or whether you feel like they were good enough for your purchase, doesn't matter, the games are out there, it's up for the gamer to decide, and not a fucking retard making a video and spitting into his mic. That's all I got to say about this, guys. Hey, you have a good one, and uh, hopefully you were able to sit through and listen to everything that I've been ranting about in the past uh, 11, or coming on 12 minutes, actually, um, you know, for all that time. So thank you. And, you know, how's the PlayStation life cycle? It's fucking great. End of story. Time to be a PlayStation gamer. Deuces.